Tens of millions of people lifted out of poverty in the past 15 years. We will take a look at Brazil's efforts to reduce inequality, the examples other countries could follow and the challenges ahead. Hello, I'm Arnand Naidu and this is The Heat. Brazil's Bolsa Familia, or Family Grant, is the largest social welfare program in the world and considered a model. It gives money to families in need and is designed to reduce inequality in a country with a huge income disparity. Our correspondent, Paulo Cabral, is in northeast Brazil, in Salvador, Bahia, for more on the innovative program. Paulo, the northeast is the poorest region in Brazil, and that's where the program is most needed. What can you tell us about the changes that this program has brought there? Well, many changes in this region and on the northeast, as you say, is the poorest region uh, in Brazil. Also, some of the most beautiful, stunning beaches you'll find anywhere in the world, but also huge social problems in this uh, region. Also, because there is a, a large drought area in the center of this region, in the heartland of Brazil's northeast. And you know, I have been traveling this area for uh, many years, since the mid-90s, and it's true that actually the Bolsa Família, the family grant program, did bring significant changes to this region. So this time we traveled here to the northeast. We are now in the capital city of Bahia, Salvador, but we went to another a small town about 100 kilometers from here called Terra Nova, exactly to investigate how people relate to the family grant, to the family grant, the Bolsa Familia, and what kind of impact this program has had. In the town of Terra Nova, in the Brazilian northeast, among the country's poorest regions, about three-quarters of the 13,000 citizens are enrolled in the Bolsa Família, a social welfare program. Funded by the federal government since 2003, it provides a monthly allowance for families below the poverty line. Jeanne Telles gets a little over 100 U.S. dollars per month for her and her daughters. There are no jobs here in Terra Nova. If people go to bigger cities, like the capital of Bahia, Salvador, they can find work, but not here. So I need this money to buy food for my family and also to buy medicine when we get sick. Except for the civil servants and for some younger people who work in three factories we have here in the city, everybody else relies on La Bosa Familia to survive. If the program was discontinued, I don't even know what would happen to us. About 13 million people are currently enrolled in the Bolsa Familia, receiving an average monthly stipend of 191 reais, the equivalent of about 43 US dollars. According to government-led researchers, the program has helped to reduce poverty in Brazil by about 15 percent and extreme poverty by about 25 percent. The program plays a key role in poverty alleviation here, even if, according to this researcher, figures show that over the last three years, part of these gains have been reversed. After 2016, cash transfers for the Bolsa Familia program were frozen. To access the grant, families do need to meet certain conditions. The children must be enrolled here in the local school. They need to be vaccinated and see doctors for regular checkups. A recent survey has shown that communities with high participation in the program have lower mortality rates connected to infectious diseases like tuberculosis. The family's obligation to take their kids to see the doctor ends up bringing the whole family closer to health services so health professionals can detect and begin treatment sooner if there is a case of tuberculosis. In some instances, beneficiaries of the program have voluntarily ended the benefit after making money on their own. My family have decided to give up the grant when we managed to begin our own business. We didn't think it would be fair to keep getting the money that we didn't really need anymore, while so many other people needed this resource. Brazil's Bolsa Família has proven to be an efficient program to lift people out of poverty. But the big hope is that with access to health services and education, the next generations won't need so much help in coming years. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, Terra Nova. Brazil. Paulo, Brazil is coming out of an economic slowdown and last year President Jair Bolsonaro took office. He's no great fan of the program. So how do those things affect the uh, familia, the Bolsa Familia? 
Well, 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 that's right. The thing is that Bolsonaro is not really a great fan of the program, but that's not really something that can be uh, clearly said in Brazil. It could uh, really have uh, serious political problems, could lose votes because of that. But uh, the Bolsa Familia is a brainchild of the Workers' Party, the leftist Workers' Party of former President uh, Lula da Silva. And actually, uh, the economic slowdown did have uh, impact on the Bolsa Familia because of uh, restrictions in, in budget. Actually, uh, people are not incoming to the Bolsa Familia program uh, anymore. So there is now a queue of about one million people that have enrolled in the program but are not yet uh, receiving their stipend their uh, benefits. So that's one problem right now. And actually, what the Bolsonaro government says is that they will continue the program. They say they will not discontinue it, but they say there will be uh, changes that have not been announced yet. What we hear uh, on the media, on, on, on background talks, is that they will uh, try to bring some kind of meritocracy into the program. That means uh, giving more money to the families of the children that have better uh, performance in the school. And also, what we hear is that they plan to change the name of the program because they want to connect this to uh, the Bolsonaro government and kind of uh, erase this, this memory that the Bolsa Familia is connected to the Workers' Party and to former uh, President Lula da Silva. So it doesn't seem that the program will be discontinued, but we are likely to see changes in its methods in the next few months. Thanks, Paolo. That's CGTN's Paolo Cabral reporting from Salvador Bahia in northeast Brazil.